Hello everyone. I decided to come on here and give one of my many testimonies. I decided to give the one um, first about um, when the first the first encounter that I had that I can powerfully remember with the Holy Spirit. Um, me rededicating my life to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As plain as day, I was in my own home. In 2016, in October, um, and I was experiencing something that was going on in my life that was a challenge for me at that time. Um, so I worked a lot. I had become a workaholic. And um, while working, I was um, never at home. Never really spending time with anyone but work. Um, not myself, not my family. Definitely not the Lord. I knew who God was. You know, I gave my life to God as a child. But not totally understanding what I was doing at that time. Just knowing that I, I loved the Lord. And um, I enjoyed going to church. Enjoyed singing on the choir. And um, so, you know. I was in my living room, going to start it out. <laughs> I'd stay home from work that day after this incident took place. I was down and I uh, just felt like, you know, I needed to take a day. So I was at home and I felt the urge to get up out of my bed that morning. Everybody else in the house was asleep. And um, I went in the living room, turned the television on. And there was a minister of God uh, speaking, and she was doing a, re uh, a rededication prayer, and she was, I say, speaking to me. And I put my right hand up, and I rededicated my life to God. And when I tell you instantly after I said, amen, God washed me heavily in his holy fire I ran out of control through my house in tears went to my children's bedroom crying saying he could have just let us die he could have just let us die but he didn't I went to back to my room and I told my um, at that time, my, my now husband, the same thing. He could have just let us die. But he didn't. I I don't, it was, it was God's Holy Spirit and it was so heavy, his fire. Oh Lord, it was so heavy. I felt it all in my chest. I felt it all in my arms. I felt it all in my body burning. And when many people ask me when I give them my testimony, what did it feel like? That's all I can say it, is it was a it was a feeling that I cannot explain and it was burning. It was a burning sensation and I felt that sensation in my body for days afterwards. I mean, it could have even went up to a couple weeks. I don't know, but strongly I mean, it did not go away. Um, later on that day, I clearly heard God say, I never forget I was making up my bed. And the Lord said, um, I knew how to get to you. <laughs> and I was so excited because that was the first time that I clearly heard the Lord's voice. And I said, I knew it. This was a this was a test. That was a test. I knew it. And um, he said, I knew how to get to you. So I want to just hold that right there. You know, God said, I knew how to get to you. So for anyone who may be lost, anyone who may have gotten on the wrong path, Jesus loves you. And he knows how to get to you. So no matter how your life may be, no matter how far you may have been thrown off. I. I. Advise you. To come back to God. Come back to Jesus. 
because he's waiting. And believe me, he knows. He knows each and every last one of his children. He knows our hearts. He knows who and what we love. And he will. He will come after you. So I'm going to go on. And um, I'm telling you, I was so excited. Um, I was so excited that day. And, you know, later on. Later on, I'm going to say a couple, maybe a couple days, a couple weeks. I'm not exactly sure. Um, now I keep a log of when when things happen to me, when God uh, tells me things or when he gives me a vision or a dream or um, something. And I've taught my, my children the same thing. But um, right then, that was the beginning of my walk. So I didn't do that. I hadn't started that yet. So I'm going to just say uh, it was a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks later. 